Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fran, I'm from Venezuela. And today we are going to be reacting to um, Faulty Towers episode 4. Uh, so on um, the last episode, I think we really got to um, one of the, probably like the strengths of the show, um, which was, you know, a lot of physical comedy on part of the actors. And um, and it was it was a very funny episode because it was all about like um, showing, not telling. Um, because I get I don't know if it's because of the time because this is a, a pretty it seems to be like a pretty old show, um, or it's just maybe um, or it's just you know like the type of comedy. It's more about you what you don't say and what you do instead of what people are actually um, and the characters are actually talking about. Because um, faulty was sort of um, we. You know, he's been shown to be like a pretty um judgmental type of of man. Um he's always very um very uppity and very like quick to judge. And he also believes that he's the only one that's on the right. Like no one's wrong, he's he's the one who's right and he's really like proper and correct. And um and we saw him like judge this really like young couple that was just, you know, like minding their business and wanted a one hotel room. But he was like, Oh, you guys are not married. Um and and he was like very um um sort of upset about it and didn't want to give them a room um and he was like willing to like treat um the guests in a pretty like awful way which is like surprising because if you want your hotel and your business to thrive then you don't treat guests in a terrible manner uh but yeah so we're probably going to be watching more of faulty being terrible um but maybe he's gonna like change his ways uh so let's check it out and comment like subscribe and start Faulty Towers by John Cleese and Connie Booth. <laughs> What's that laugh? I know. That electrician, didn't he? What happened? Oh, my, he was. Only one what but volts, as they say. <laughs> Is she talking about like a previous boyfriend? No, he can't. Yes. Or out of them, preferably. <laughs> so the wife is like the opposite of, of faulty. Mm -hmm. No, just not. Oh, she, no, she took, room. she took like um, his lighter. No, 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 of course I won't go. Oh, the matches. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're not, you're not gonna take them off completely. She's like, I'm busy. This is pretty as candles. <laughs> yeah, like, what is. What is this conversation? <laughs> She's like, you're not doing any any work here. Oh my god, he's. His voice. It matters not one whit. Time is not pressing on me, fortunately. Why does he speak like that? Some information, please. This afternoon, I have to get me to my first port of call. Uh, who is this guy? Yeah, like, yes, yeah, like, are you okay? Let's see, what did I gather from your first announcement that you want a taxi? <laughs> yeah, like, in a nutshell. Case what does he speak like that? Just say you want a taxi like a normal person. No, please, please. Could you get it for me? Because I never use the telephone if I can avoid it. Why? Not risk of infection. Of what? When I finish, right? Now, I have a rendezvous at five o'clock. A rendezvous? Which I must reach from the post office in Queen Square. It's something so silly. Like, I'm going to, like, the grocery store. Draw me a diagram of the optimum route. Diagram? What? Well, it's got curry on it. Well, a diagram, if it won't put you out. Well, it does put Yeah, he's like, actually does. all the same. Right. She's like, yeah, it's a guess. We can like. I've actually got pens in the hotel <laughs> somewhere. I mean, where are the pens? This is the terrible reception. I mean, there are no pens. I mean, this is supposed to be a not always losing them. People take them. Sure. They take them from me. They wouldn't dare. It's written there quite clearly on the top of the box. This is like pencil. <laughs> pens to me. Well, when Ben comes, you can give it. To <laughs> yeah, like. Mr. Waltz in room seven. What are you stuff is? Uh, it's there where it says post. <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> Oh, it's to say the P and the B. The abbreviation. Ah, the penny's dropped. Pal, you see, a name of a district, you see. Okay, what? He's just being... He's just an idiot. There, there, does it say boss? P off. A big old boss? Oh! P off? Who ever heard about the post office? Yes, I got it. Room nine. Room seven. That's like a very British insult. Seven, please. Okay. Oh, no. Manuel doesn't understand anything. He thinks boff 
Coffee's a low carb. Tori or Tori. <laughs> Where's Torky? Like, I want to know. <laughs> Manuel, well, there's 12 here. I'll write it down for you. Well, <laughs> Don't forget the taxi, will you? Two. Anyone in particular? I mean, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> Just anyone with a big net. I don't know what it is about. It's yeah, and like if you that's so important, why would he stay there? Like, like, you should help a bit. You're always Don't shout at me. I've had a difficult morning. What happened? Oh, dear, what happened? Did you get entangled in all your friends for so long you didn't have time to turn your ears? Surely, Basil, I've been working. He's like in working what? I mean by working, don't you, dear? I mean done as opposed to squabbling with the guests. What would find it a little easier to cope with some of the critters if I got a smidgen of cooperation from you? Yeah, but what is she doing actually? <laughs> That's a laugh. The day you'll cooperate, you'll be in a wooden box. I've never heard of that. <laughs> because you'll be I'm dead. Sorry, I think I'm gonna fall under some of the yobbos we get. <laughs> Okay. I agree 100 percent Yeah, like I wouldn't know this Audrey. They they all they're constantly talking about her. Oh so wait, so it's the guy, the mysterious guest is this hotel inspector. Yeah, like be be more polite. He's so rude. Papers arrive faulty. Not yet. Sorry. Sorry. It's so natural to him. I mean, there's no need to ring the bell. Like, he's right there. Like, what are you doing? If he's right there. Could you do that to nobody's dying yet, have you? <laughs> like, this guy. You can see like he's right there. BBC Two this evening about squad in the late 1860s. Now, this starts what? at 45 and goes on for approximately three quarters of an hour. Yeah, like, what is he talking about? For me to reserve the BBC Two channel duration of this televisual feast. Reserve the channel? What? No, it isn't. No. Oh my god, he was like... <laughs> he was like gonna smash his finger. Yes, Basil. He's totally the guy. Television set to one of your computers. Well, that's not much use to me tonight, is it? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, why don't I introduce another session that you had a table tennis table? They have? We do, yes. It is not in app session, but it could certainly be used in an emergency. What sort of emergencies would you like? We Would you need it? A table tennis. Mr. Hutchison, may I introduce Polly Shirt? Built the grapefruit juice, didn't you, naughty girl? Oh. The glass, didn't you? Thank you. The. Also, she's not allowed to be, like, annoying with customers. But he can. Good morning, ladies. Oh, goodness me, we don't worry about things like that. He's at twelve. I mean, this is a hotel, not a ball Have you Spanish? Why why like you could tell you can tell her. No, no, you got the wrong person there. Oh yes, yes. Oh yes, they're frozen, yeah. Spanish omelette with with peas? What? I don't think Spanish omelettes have peas. A cheese salad? Oh my god. Okay, like he actually deserves to be a little... And a glass of fresh water. Fresh water? Just water! Telephone call for your reception. So two things, either he's the he's a hotel inspector or he's no one and he has like a weird tendencies and he's just like a normal guest. <laughs> and obviously the thing is like they're gonna be mistaken. They're mistaking him for the hotel inspector. Good afternoon. No. <laughs> no. This is no sun, it's no good for me. I'm taking your pal. What? I'm sick, yes. Oh uh... like me to sit. Okay? I'm in room. No, that's the inspector. Oh, sorry, but I think you say for room and I do it. Uh, you room ten. No, he said seven. Seven. Oh, seven, see. <laughs> no, this is so painful. This is... I'm constantly saying this hotel is terrible. It's, oh, it's... Uh, yes. It's what I think you say. Uh, oh my God, I, uh, he looks murderous. In English, uh, pero solamente puede... One glass of fresh water. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, this is table five here. Come on. Oh no. Well, he's hopeless, isn't he? Now? Yes, please. <laughs> he's annoyed that he. There we are. Now? Three, please. Basil, like, you should be more interested in, like, getting your hotel, like, to up to standards. Cotton, 62. 
65. The what? The <laughs> cotton 65. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, I hope everything was still satisfied. No, yeah, he's it's not. Very greasy. I've wiped it out for you. Oh, Ugh. Dreadfully greasy it was. I don't know who's been using it. No, yeah. He's absolutely not the the inspector. The inspector is the other one. It's it's t oh, have you got an yeah, he's even like writing things down. Oh. <laughs> no. No. I don't think that's how you pour wine. He didn't even pop the cord correctly. <laughs> oh no, the cork broke down. He's just gonna smash it down. Like, whatever. Just open this bottle. Finally? Oh no. Congratulations on your choice. Yes, excuse me. He's not even like he's not even gonna clean it up. I'm afraid this is corked. I don't mean that. I mean the wine is yes. Gone. The wine has reacted with the cork. Gone bad. May I? Yeah, that's where you store wine bottles horizontally. <laughs> it's disgusting. It tastes like vinegar. <laughs> I said I hope you're all enjoying our. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yes. Are you having the lamb or the mackerel? The you already said the lamb and the pate. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was getting at. She already found out. Yeah, he's not the inspector. He works for a cutlery firm. Call one of our guests. She's like, who cares? Oh, good info that. <laughs> Fresh peas, ice buckets. Yeah, he's just an idiot. That's it. To do with him there is no excuse for room yes you know? exactly do you understand he's like a child like he's your husband not your kid <laughs> what is that oh my god that's so gross with the with these bare hands mm -hmm. the eyes i'm sorry you have thoughts for that mm. <laughs> <laughs> no he spit on him Spoon trade. Is that like a legitimate business? Why are you blaming him? He didn't even. He didn't say anything. Miss, miss, miss. Yes. When did he change the order? Yeah. Well, he, <laughs> he's awfully rude, but I think he would do an even better job than Basil. He's terrible at this. He's, yeah, he's like, it's not okay. I ordered something different. Oh, he grabbed he grabbed the wine bottle, I guess. The bottle. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, that was so unnecessarily rude. There we are. No, 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 no. Order that. You didn't. I did not. What did he order? Oh, the the pate is for the other for the hotel inspector. Everything's all right then. It appears that I. How? Oh, finally. My my new knowledge like sue for harassment at the workplace. I did not order a lamb cattails. I got the order. I'm gonna be so difficult to get a cheese salad. What is a cheese salad? No, no, I just right, want well, a cheese salad then. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I need to try for brush. Brush. It was rude. Mr. Yes. I said rude. Well, I'm deep. Nothing gonna be further from my mind. You told. No, he was exactly your mind. You told me to shut up. You what? what? You see, he was looking at you, but talking to me. <laughs> Wasn't I? What? So you weren't. Were you talking to me? Yes. I beg your pardon. <laughs> there, you see how easily these misunderstandings occur? Oh, yes, I They're gaslighting him. Please, Polly. Yeah. Certainly, Mr. Hutchison. I hesitate to ask. Yes, thank you. <laughs> They're totally gaslighting him. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so sorry. He's from Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Perfect excuse. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, himself, you know. 
Oh no, he has to make it. No, no, he has to make it in order for it to be like a good, a better thing. Okay, sure, whatever. Someone who appreciates the boudoir, the grape. It's the boudoir, the grape. Bordeaux is a claret. Oh. Oh, Bordeaux is a claret. You obviously drink a lot. Wine. No, yes. Some people drink about the claret. It's not being a connoisseur. That's just plain Yeah, he's not like you're a drug. No, I mean, you'd know about wines. Oh, yes. Oh no, Manuel! Poor, poor, poor man. What? Are you a wine trade manager? No, we're not. Where? I'm down here on business with a couple of colleagues, and we are not in the wine trade. Of course, because they're all the hotel, hotel, uh, the hotel inspectors. I am not an expert. What? Oh my God! He gets, he just dawned on him. Yes, there are three of us. Will the other? Yes. He just, it just clicked. What? Well, I mean, things in general. I've not been given the chance. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Come on, now, Lizzie. There, I've torn it up. You'll never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you just gave it to the other, uh, to the other table. And the other table said, yeah, sure, good. Uh, everything is still satisfactory. No, it is not. I mean, you were supposed to be running a hotel. Yeah, this is more like a zoo. I've had the omelette, and I've been sorted for a man who's supposed to be running a hotel. No, disaster. No. <laughs> no. This is only joking! Oh my god, the guy fainted. Like, oh my god! Oh my god, he like... How hard was he like choking him? I mean, like, no, you actually can't handle it. Uh, I trust you enjoyed your meal? Good. No. Oh, the, the casserole was really good, was it? She's getting stuck at the old windpipe. By <laughs> the old windpipe? No, I prefer to come in here and discuss oh, it. Oh, no. Fine, I'm afraid it's a little bit uh, of a mess. The lie down seems to have done you some good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're actually, like, fighting at the reception. <laughs> this is very unnecessary, too. You, you seem like you are, actually. No, but when I'm in salt, I'm my own metal and call the police. Call the police? Stand up like a man, come on. Get a trouble. This hotel is extremely inefficient and badly. Oh, no. Yeah. Not in front of the, 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 the inspector. Well, sort of pith. Inspector, receive a bill. Well, he didn't actually state, so I guess it's true. Handle that then, have you, Baza? She has every right to, like, make fun of him and be annoyed. Incidentally, he seems to like it. Really? Mm, sure. Somebody's going to think, I really here tonight as our guest to Sure. A dinner tonight? Would you? Would you? No. All right, fifty pounds then. <laughs> what? Fifty pounds. Oh, he's going to bribe him. Sixty. Not to write about it. You know, I mean, articles, books, letters. Oh no, 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 Basil. Don't put this in the. You've got to be confused with someone else. He wasn't. The, oh no, he wasn't the inspector either. What exhibition? Outboard motors. Oh. But not on the side. <laughs> not on the side, like as a side job? You can't have that in that side job. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> He's like, no, stop kissing me, please. <laughs> They're the inspectors. Okay. Yes, well, why don't you have Yeah, this was, uh, I, 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 I was also gonna say, like, no, it, it can't be, it can't be, and I was wondering if the twist was gonna be at the end that the other guy wasn't the inspector either. Um, so, but in the end, we can tell, like, okay, so in, in the end, like, Faulty and um, Basil ends up getting away with it. He's always, like, getting away with things. Like, it can't be because this hotel is terrible. Um, but yeah, th this is really funny. Again, like, the comedy of misunderstandings, um, it's all based on, on, on that. And, like, um, um, because everyone's so dumb, like, nobody asks any questions. Like, just talk to each other like normal people. And because you're jumping to assumptions, then those kind of things happen. So, obviously, like, the comedy is in that, um, 
is in that sort of like um um in that vein that sort of like yeah misunderstanding comedy of errors like a lot of uh mistaken identities um and 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 the sword and and yeah that um is it's actually like really funny that in the end like the whole the whole episode is um sort of like um not not based but it's sort of like you would guess that the whole thing is going to be about like, oh yeah, the inspectors are going to be there and they're going to like, you're, we're as the audience, we're going to be witnessing like what, what sort of, um, like judgment call they're going to be like, they had like a terrible time because obviously we're going to be like, it's probably they're going to have like, they're going to be like, no terrible hotel. But then, you know, it's all built up, but then we don't get to see it because the episode ends exactly when the actual like, um, inspectors arrive. So it's like, no, the whole thing was building up to it and, and it didn't never happen because, um, they were none of the guests were were there but um it's really it's really good for for the wife um um sybil to mention and to um tell to to basil that um he's being so rude and he's always so rude and that's not an excuse like obviously you have like annoying guests but you can't really like treat them terribly because you know you like the customer's always right so obviously you can't really run a hotel like that but it's funny again that he is also like at the at the end of the um of the sort of like of the uh, of the day he's all like no he's willing to beg because he's like no we built this place like from the crown up we've been doing this for 12 years please no don't like don't don't say anything bad about us like we pour we pour like our our life into this and it's like it doesn't seem like you actually like pour that um that of your like life work into this because you don't seem that worried because if you're like so invested in this you would probably try to be a little more um understanding a little kinder um in the hospitality business um so it doesn't seem like they just they they've been working on this hotel and like building it from the ground up for for like 12 years uh but yeah this is really funny and that was it for today and i'll see you soon bye